Mr. Speaker, this... can I just say, don't damage the furniture. Cheer him by all means, but don't damage. Come on. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, this morning I had meetings with ministerial colleagues and others. In addition to my duties in this house, I shall have further such meetings later today. I'd like to congratulate the Prime Minister on his uh, new post and indeed uh, as being the uh, first uh, Prime Minister of a South Asian uh, heritage, uh, which I think will be a cause of great pride among many of my constituents. Uh, I also have uh, some pride in welcome, welcoming a fellow Saints Southampton supporter uh, into number 10. Um, during his, uh, during his prime ministerial campaigns, the last prime ministerial campaign he ran, he, he pledged to prohibit any development of onshore wind, which is now the cheapest form of power available to us in the country. Now he is prime minister. Will he change his mind on that point? Prime minister. Well, uh, Mr Speaker, I thank the Honourable Gentleman for his uh, kind words and look forward to seeing him at St Mary's, although uh, I know my, my friend, the, uh, the Leader of the House, may have something to say about our love of, uh, uh, of saints. Look, when it comes to energy policy, I stick by what we said uh, in our manifesto, Mr Speaker. The important thing is, though, to focus on our long-term energy security. That means more renewables, more offshore wind and, indeed, more nuclear. That's what this Government will deliver. I'm surprised, Mr Speaker, to be uh, asking a question, and I know you're shocked, Mr Speaker, too, because I know that you, uh, like many people, thought I would have already been offered a ministerial post. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you, I didn't hold my breath. Philip Davis. <laughs> go, go figure, as Joe Biden might say. Uh, yeah, uh, Joe. Uh, <laughs> can I can I can I congratulate can I congratulate my right honourable friend on becoming Prime Minister? Yeah. Yeah. He's absolutely the right person for the job and I wish him every success in post and as he knows he's got my full support. His, his, two, his, two, his, his, his two immediate predecessors made levelling up a key part of their agenda. Would he reaffirm his commitment to levelling up and start as he means to go on by approving